Welcome back, guys, to part 7 of Gothic 2, the classic mod. So we're going to continue our hunting exploration, and we're going to ignore that shadow beast back there. I also tried using some magical scrolls on it, but we're just going to come back, so... Forget that, we're going to go up here. Because... The last part, we talked to a guy named Dragomir, who teaches crossbow, and he lost a crossbow. Up here, I believe, at a ruin. And also, we're low on health. I should probably go ahead and heal up first. It's currently 10 in the morning. But we'll try to push forward and uh, see what we find. There's a golem over there. I don't know if you see that. Right there. I see it. We're going to go ahead and save. I already did my LP7 save. I've been doing that before I even started recording. Well, let's try to have at him. We're going to die. Because golems are tough. It's magical. Got punched right in the face and died. Well, that's not gonna work. Um, let's try to use some scrolls on it. It's a magic golem, so... But this fireball scroll did not do much against the... Uh, Shadow Beast back there. And I guess we can't fight it. In Gothic 1, when we fought a golem, they uh, required blunt weapons, so let's see if we can use one. Maybe well, that'll work better. It's the same. It is not the same. Alright. Well, let's just move on. I punched one time in the face and we died. I'm gonna pick up these herbs. Or plants, rather. Healing plant. And there's rats here. Three of them. We're gonna fight all three of them, too. Why not? Okay, I got you. Be the first enemy I kill in this part. And we are really hurt. Shoot. I should probably to plunder. go back to... The Dead Harpy, because we're not doing too well. Or go back to Sagita. I'm going to pick up these herbs first, and I might do that. Pick up these plants, rather. Healing herb. Healing plants. Once we find the Sun Aloe for Sagita, she will teach us how to do alchemy. And I think we can learn healing potions uh, recipes from her. If we can, we may take it. Because that's a lot of herbs. Wow. Pick this up. Pick this, pick this up one too. Holy moly. Okay. We're level 9 right now. We have 20 learning points. We're going to learn one-handed next. That way we can learn two-handed without exhausting our character too much. I believe that's how it works. Two-handed to fighter, then one-handed to fighter, then we can get up to a master and um, two-handed. I'm assuming. I had a hard time finding the correct way to do it, because all the guides talk about the expansion. No one talks about the classic anymore. Though I did admittedly look really quickly this morning before I started playing this part, but I don't know how much it costs to learn alchemy. I think it costs like five learning points for each recipe or something like that. I bet. Let's check the map. So, I think I'm going to go back to Sagita now and heal up, because we have... Pick this up. We have no hit points at all. Heal me. Let me see. Hmm. My ointment will take care of the worst of your wounds. All right, now we're fully healed up. Let's continue. So I saw a guy over here guarding a bridge. Is he the bridge keeper from Monty Python, the Holy Grail? No, probably not. He's probably just a bandit. Let's go ahead and save again. Hey you, stop right there! What do you want? If you don't want me to smash in your face, you'd better transfer a few gold coins for your pockets to mine, and pronto! No way. You're joking. Do I look the part? If I don't see 20 gold pieces before you come even one step closer, then I'll flatten you, so fork over the door already. <laughs> Alright, here's your money. No, we're not going to do that. 
Just get out of my way. So you won it the hard way. Always. Got you. That was easy. We'll take this heavy branch. I should have a better weapon than uh, than that. Okay, he's got cheese, woodland berry, meadow berry, 11 coins, and a stalk. A swamp weed. Oh, it's ours now. Now, what is across this bridge? But first, I'm going to check the map. It's a good idea to have a map out here. You never know. Um, Alright, let's go up here real quick. Actually. And I have this habit of picking up every single plant I see. Are there any enemies around here? We got fireweed. We got a healing plant over here. And nothing else. That's where we came from. Anything up here? Probably not. Always good to explore. It's fun to explore in this game. And I probably should have gone back to Karina's to learn one-handed. But it's, as you can see, it's quite far so I think we're gonna try to circle back as much as we can up and around left into that forest there and then we'll be back past Akil's farm and then back to Karina's get some experience along the way see if we can squeeze another level and get to level 10 but regardless of that we are gonna save and pick up this healing plant that I saw while saving across the bridge there's that cave below us, I believe. And we got some scavengers here. Two of them, I believe. Unless one's hidden. How about you? That's one down. We'll fight this one. How about you? And... They are dead. Perfect. We're not doing too bad so far. Yeah, I will not forget that Shadow Beast... Back there. I will come back for it, as well as that magic golem, because that magic golem, I bet, is guarding some really nice treasure. And we could always use more treasure. I mean, our guy is a bit greedy. Well, and technically, the guy is us. It says me whenever his dialogue box pops up. It'd be cool if they allow you to customize your own protagonist if they ever did a remake, a correct remake of Gothic 1 and 2. Just customize the look of your protagonist. I've always liked it when games do that. But I don't mind the way the, way the, guy, the guy looks now. Or anything. Just customization is always fun to do in video games. Because you do see him a lot. I mean, you always see his face. It's, just, it's not like Skyrim where it kind of almost doesn't matter because unless you're taking a lot of screenshots like me or in Skyrim, most of the time you're just wearing a helmet anyway. Unless you're using a mod, which is what I did. And that means Skyrim without mods but when it came out. Not everyone's favorite game. Well, it is everyone's favorite game, but it also isn't. Skyrim gets a lot of hate, but despite the fact that it is quite backwards compared to the previous Elder Scrolls games, I still rather like it because I thought it did exploration really, really well. The only gripe I can probably think of is the fact that there's no spears and since the Imperials are based off Romans and the Roman armies use spears to win their wars with their phalanx formations and all that fun stuff the Imperials having no spears in Skyrim was such a huge what the heck really took me out of that experience a little bit but thankfully there's mods for that but then again I don't always agree with mods being the way to fix a game. We should enhance an already a great game. And Skyrim is a great game, I think. I played it, the special edition, several years ago, after a long while. And I modded the heck out of it. Uh, not the heck out of it, but all the mods I specifically wanted for Skyrim, I got for, uh, I forgot for Skyrim. And I played the game, all of it, the main quest, the side, most of the side quests, and I got all the achievements. I usually don't do that in games that much anymore, but if I like a game very, very much, and I still like playing it, 
I will get the achievements for it as sort of a, well, what else can I do? Kind of thing, if that makes any sense. There was a period in my life where I was always hunting for achievements, and it got to the point where I would play a game just for, uh, not just for the achievements, but I got kind of obsessed with it a little bit, and I pulled away from it. This is on Steam, and Steam has a achievement showcase, showcasing all your achievements, and there was a time where I did not care about achievements. My average game completion rate was as low as like 10, like 10%. It wasn't even 10%. I think it was like 8, 9%. That's how much I did not care about achievements. Until I got all the achievements for, I believe, Mountain Blade Warband. And then the, uh, the fun started. Then it got to the point where I would not buy a game unless I was sure I can get all the achievements. And I ended up with a 71% average game completion rate on Steam. But about three, four years ago, I turned off the showcase and I just... Don't, don't do it anymore. Fight these lizards. We're gonna get hit really bad. You may die. Also the music. Ooh, we took some damage. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. That is too bad. Okay. But, yeah, I turned off the Achievement Showcase, and the last, achievements, the last achievement I got to any game, all, all achievements, was Signalis for the a survival horror game that released in Oct October in a year, a year or two ago. Uh, 2021, I think. And I did it because I played the game once, and I felt like playing it again. And then I felt like playing it again for the third time. And the third time I got all the achievements for the heck of it. That's when achievements are probably worth, worth doing if you uh, want to do them. But yeah, I just really liked uh, earning them, but I don't do them, don't it anymore. There's that bit of an, uh, only people who hunt for achievements will understand the anxiety it feels trying to get the last few achievements when you really don't want to, but you want to raise your average game completion rate. It sounds stupid when I said, because again, I was on both sides of the camp where I did not care about achievements at all, and then I started caring about them. There was like such a long portion of my life where I just did not um, give a deuce about earning that stuff. But did it did open me up to some good games for just good games in general, like point-and-click adventure games, which I haven't played in such a long time. But... Really went off track with, uh... Gothic. There's a lizard over there. We're not gonna fight that yet. I hope it's not following us. I also see some rats over here, I think. I should probably go ahead and eat some, uh, not eat, but drink a potion. Alright. Giant rats, or a giant rat. How about you? Okay, take that. I remember this area, though. I remember this, um... All this, these structures, these, uh... Not these beasts, but... I remember the layout. Back when I played this, a long time ago. I got you. Alright. Yeah, Signalis. That was like two years ago. That I got all the achievements, yes. I guess I'll still talk about it a little bit more. But I think I ended the showcase with... The, St the achievement showcase on Steam. With about 5,000, 6,000 total achievements. 70 or 80 perfect games and a 71% or so average game completion rate and it just felt good seeing those numbers go up but also because it gets to the point where you know you're playing a game one of them was Prey by Arcane I think published by Bethesda or the other way around I forget um I played that and when it came out then a couple years later I played it again Decided I want to get the rest of the achievements, and there's a lot of annoying achievements in that game. You have to play that game, I think, four or five times. One of them being playing the game without Typhon powers, playing the game again, and having only you and one other guy survive, and all the other survivors on the station die. 
And I think many other times that I can't remember too. There's a troll here. We're gonna fight it. And also be careful of those snappers. How about you? We're just gonna smack its butt over and over. Oh no. Not good. Let's uh, move back a little bit. Yeah, I probably had a lot of annoying achievements to get. I also got all the ones from Moon Crash. Fun game, but when you're an achievement hunter like that, trying to get 100% in a game you like, it actually burns you out uh, in a way. I was hoping to do another combo attack, that didn't work too well. There, we died. I attack. I was too late doing a combo. But it gets to the point where those achievements kind of burn you out. Not kind of, it does burn you out, and you just don't want to touch the game ever again. So, yeah. And if I never hunted for achievements, I would think it's silly that people are hunting for it. But again, I was on both camps. I used to just not care about them. I just played the game. I saw that thing pop up on the bottom right when you get a trophy or an achievement, and I didn't think much of it. Like, I seriously did not care about it. When I, when I mean I didn't care about achievements, it also meant I wasn't... Uh, cheerleading about it on the internet saying I don't want people to hunt for achievements, I don't care about them I seriously, legitimately did not care about achievements at all to the point where I wasn't thinking about them even when it popped up on, the sc on my screen but it wasn't until I got all of them for I think Mountain Blade Warband that um, I felt like uh, sort of doing that as an extra thing in games and I would only do it for games where I enjoyed I wasn't buying like an easy puzzle game where you click a button and you get like a thousand achievements at once or anything. It was games like um, Prey, Skyrim, Mountain Blade Warband, Signalis. Most of the Resident Evil games, Resident Evil 1, 0, 2 and 3 remake, 4 the original, and even 4 the remake when that came out. Let's try to lure this, uh, be careful there's no enemies around me. Yeah, I wouldn't buy a game just because I wanted the achievement or anything like that. It was just something I did to get most out of the game. But I stopped eventually. And that was actually kind of hard to do a little bit because you don't want to... Because you're kind of all in, in a way. I hope we can kill this snapper. They got a lot of health. We have to get some lucky crits in order to kill it. There we go. Any skins? Nothing there. There's no skins. But it was kind of hard to quit. A little bit, because, um, because once you quit, your score goes down, your average game completion rate goes down. But basically, bite your tongue and just turn it off and just stop, basically. Oh, wow, I really, was really late in attacking that snapper. I want to kill these things before attacking the troll, I don't want any straggling enemies around me coming to me when I'm trying to literally beat beat the troll's butt. All right, here we go. Let's try again. Yeah, these are the creatures you can um, turn yourself into with a scroll and go around and uh, Nothing to be had there. kill enemies for experience. But yeah, when you stop hunting for achievements like that, strangely enough, um, it, felt, it felt really freeing. Because now I can just play a game and not give a crap about achievements. One one game I could have got all achievements in was Elden Ring. I think I got 36 out of 40. I think there's 40 in that game. I don't know. I had four left, I believe. One of them being... Uh, getting all the faith spells. I played that game twice. I played Elden Ring twice. And... I played once as just a regular two-handed guy. The second one is a magic uh, guy. I, I want to see how strong... Well, magic melee. I want to see how strong magic is, and it's really strong. The rock sling spell is strong. And definitely combat to Zer, which really burns down bosses. Which is really fun to use, just going through the game again and just get my revenge on the bosses. But, and when I started a new game, I didn't even do New Game Plus. I did a completely different character. I wanted a fresh start. I put about, I made 200 hours into that game. And... The achievements I missed was all faith spells because I wasn't playing a faith guy. And I got the same ending. So I'm missing I'm missing a couple of ending spells and I forget the other one. 
and I don't want to get it because I don't feel like it. I probably never will either because I don't usually play Faith in uh, those kind of games. And also, someone mentioned me playing like Dark Souls, and that's a maybe. I'm not sure. It's been such a long time since I played Dark Souls, and I'm not a super. I like Dark Souls, but I'm not like a super huge fan of the whole genre. But I do like Elden Ring most because it's open world. That's the reason why I bought it, not because it's a uh, open world Dark Souls. I didn't buy it because it was Dark Souls inspired, not inspired, but it's same company. I bought it because for the open world. And that game was really fun. It was really, really good. All that stuff about copy-pasted assets and the repetitive catacombs and caves did not bother me one bit. Because for one, you don't have to do them. They're optional. They're there as a way to just uh, get runes and level up your character. I did think the bosses were relentless though. Uh, without using summons, I had to use spirit summons towards the end there. Used a mimic tier. And uh, what's that one summon? The Black Knife, I think her name starts with a T. She was really good. Also, we have a chest here, and it's locked, so let us begin our lock picking procedure. It broke. Okay, left, right, left, right, left. And we broke all our picks, so we're gonna reload. Try again. Okay, I guess it's just left, right, left, right, left, right then. Yep. What do we got? We got a fire ring and fish. Just a fish sitting in the chest and we'll pick it up because why not? I pick up everything. We'll equip this fire ring if we can find it. We really need to whittle down our inventory. There we go. Let's equip that. Now we got extra fire protection. 15. Marvelous. And we are really low on, on health, but I think we're doing okay. We'll try to explore as much as we can. This is such an interesting structure near... Uh... Oh, that's a shadow beast. And it killed us. Um... All right. Well, we're not gonna fight that right now. We're gonna have to come back. So I marked that down in my notes so I don't forget because I want to kill every creature on this map. But it gives you an idea of who lived on this island before Mertanans did. Let's go up here. Because this structure is taunting me to explore it. Ah, there's gold. On the ground. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, is that it? 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I think that's it. Nope. 25, 26. Is that it? 26 gold? Look at me scrounging for stray pieces of gold. Go and save. Open this chest. Ah, another gold. 27. Okay. Well, let's begin our combination. So, right. Left. Right. Left. Left. Right. 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 This one's definitely left, right? Yep. Left, right. Okay, we got 17 arrows, 120 pieces of gold, and an orc slayer. Wow. Holy crap. Too bad it's one-handed. Um, we're definitely going to take that with us. 
shoot. Because, yeah. That may carry us for a while. Also, how do I pick up that gold? It was like right there. It's like right under the chest, I think. I don't think there's a way to pick it up. I'm gonna check. Right, let's just leave. We found a really good weapon. Holy moly. That we can't use yet. We need 25 more points in strength. But we're gonna put points into one handed next. And I think we'll put points to strength right after that. So I think one handed will carry us for a while before we focus on two handed. We'll see. Let's go ahead and save. And let's mop up the rest of these critters in this area. And I think that's enough about me talking about achievements. I know. People think it's unbelievable. They don't know why people collect them, but I understand I understand when I was going through it why people collect for them. Because it actually is really fun. The whole thing about people saying I said enough about achievements, but I'm talking about it anyway. If I find something to talk about, I'm just gonna keep talking about it. Because this is a let's play. It's supposed to be for commentary, right? But when people say, Oh, why do you hunt for them? No one cares about them, but I didn't hunt for them because I wanted people to care about them. Because for one my Steam profile is private, so I was basically doing it for myself. So that's it. Just feel, it's just uh, satisfying seeing something pop up when you uh, actually hunt for it. But there's a lot of useless achievements out there, even for achievement hunters, where it's like you know the ones where oh, what I thought. I gotta concentrate because. We are almost dead. Nothing to plunder. There's dumb achievements where it's co-op only or tacked on multiplayer achievements for a game that's mostly single player. Those are really annoying. And there's ones that just don't really... They're basically just grind achievements. And there's one achievement for a game called Ease... The uh, Ease 3, I believe. Oath and, the Oath of Felgana, where... There's one achievement you get escorting... There's a, sec there's a certain segment of the story where you escort one girl from point A to point B in a certain part of the story. If you do that for each and every single difficulty, you get the achievement. It's called, uh, it's got that, uh, the icon looks funny. It's the Forever Alone icon, the one that you usually see on Reddit from a long time ago. And we died. We may have to heal up. I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion. Because I don't feel like going back to Sagita right now. We'll use a... Uh, give us a little boost here. Then we'll go ahead and... Um, that's probably it. We could just have some... We had to have a lot of healing plants, but... I see 88. I'm seeing, like, possibility for 88 potions. So I'm holding on to that. I got a little bit of boost there. There's also dumb achievements where it's just basically grinding... I think Hotline Miami 2 had an achievement where you kill 10,000 enemies. When you finish the game once and even get S rank in all the stages, you're still short of 10,000 enemies, I believe. So it's one of those achievements. But it felt freeing to not hunt for them anymore. Just for games I really like, like Signalis, I will do it. And Signalis has very easy achievements. It's just basically beat the game on um, hard mode, get the endings. There's one um, that might be a little annoying, which also wasn't... Uh, it's a bit of a challenge... Just a challenge run, kind of, in a way, where you just don't use the storage chest to store stuff. You just keep your uh, inventory, like, as is. But other than that, that game was really... Easy when it came to achievements. And also, we're low on health again. Shoot. Got you. I was close. My attack wasn't registering because I was a bit too late. Too early. It's nice music here. There's a cave over there. How much experience do we have now? 25,000? We're almost level 10, kind of. Which is good, because I, like I would love to use that sword. It may have been a good idea to just... Not a good idea, but... Because I didn't remember. 
to uh, focus on one-handed and then strength. There's a fire drakes over there. I don't think we're strong enough to fight them. I keep saying that and we're and we beat them. Keep saying that and we do eventually beat them. The Shadow Beast I don't want to fight because this the last part took me 15 rounds and we still lost. I just can't seem to get the get in a groove. Why did I run up here? Let's actually try to fight the fire drakes after taking out these blood flies. How about you? I'm losing our precious health. I may have to go back to Sagita because I don't want to use potions. Ah, we're gonna die. This is not good. I'm just gonna reload. I believe in Night of the Raven you see more of these structures in the expansion area, Jarkendar. There's also extra items like uh, there's tablets you can learn how to read from another language, and those gives you those give you stat boosts, I believe, permanent stat boosts. Okay, that one's dead. But as you guys know, I don't. I'm not a huge. I don't. Uh, I rather play Gothic. Uh, Gothic two. I don't hate Night of the Raven. I just prefer this over the expansion. I don't like the the rebalancing. I, f I just find it really tedious to play. I just did not find it satisfying to get over the challenge like in like in this game. This game is much easier, the original. It's much, much easier than it's an easy game. It's just the beginning's a little can be a little rough. Especially if you're like me and don't use all the tools available like magic scrolls. You try to push through and not use potions because I'm stubborn. Before I fight these things, I'm gonna grab more of these plants. Let's just let them come to us. Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna die anytime. Yep. Oh boy. Well, let's try again. Not two. There's no way we can fight two. Get a little closer. They are cool. They look cooler than in Gothic 1. Gothic 1, they looked just like regular. They didn't look uh, like this. They look different. But they got a lot of. Uh, they got more uh, style to them. Okay, Fire Drake. Um, hold on a second. Fire Drake. I'm going to just go right temple next to it. We'll come back to them later. We're going to go over to that cave now. I will come back and slay them because I want experience points. Let's go in here and grab this fire nettle. Grab all the plants. These are black goblins. I'm debating on going back to Sagita now to heal up a little bit. But if you're patient and don't mind backtracking, then you can just go back to Sagita and heal up. We also got owned right there. Oh my god. I forgot to save, of course. I forgot to save. Well, I'll do it again before this cave. Maybe we'll try to fight these black goblins. There's quite a bit of them. Save, get our weapon out. See if we can lure just one. Here he comes. There's one. Move backwards. Here he comes. Just one, right? Nope, two. Ah. Stop moving around. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go back to Sagita. On second thought, actually, let's go back to... Karinas. I'm gonna go to Karinas, I'm gonna heal up, and I'm also gonna learn one-handed from Wolfgar, so... I will see you there after plucking up this... Plicking. Picking up this healing plant. Well, it looks like I forgot something at this um, raiding site. There's a leather satchel on this overturned cart. So I'm going to grab that. As well as this arrow. Is there anything else that I forget? How much gold is in there? 25? Alright. 
Well, back to Karina's. And here we are, back in Karina's. Let's save. Balls in the backup, so why not? So on second thought, aside from healing and learning one-handed, we gotta sell some stuff. We're gonna do that in Mateo. We got some weapons to sell. Probably just go ahead and sell all the food. I don't know if there's any quests we have to give food to people. So I suppose I'll hold on to them. No reason not to. Our inventory is limitless. Hey, you! Can you heal me? Adonis, bless this body. Free it of its wounds and strengthen it with new life. Now, I like the voice acting in Gothic 1 and 2. It's not... It's, I mean, it's obviously not professional voice acting, but it's very charming. Like, it's memorable to me. And I'm not just, I'm just not bothered by it at all. So now let's go to Mateo. Sell some stuff. I think he always mans his shop, too. He never... He never leaves. Let's have to go to sleep. Show me your wares. All right, so we'll go ahead and sell not the Orc Slayer. We're keeping that. We're going to sell the Rapier, though. Get 180 for it. And we can get 450 for the Orc Slayer if we want to. But we're obviously going to keep that one. Because it's powerful. So the Rapier can go. Medium Orc Axe can go. The Pirate's Cutlass can go because we got the Self-Forged Sword from Anubis's Tomb, which we still have to explore eventually. You can have the Rough Hatchet. The rusty two-hander. Um, I'm keeping the pickaxe, I think. We're keeping the spiked cudgel as well. I like to have a maced weapon with a blunt weapon with me at all times. All games don't do it, but I like to do a habit of doing that. So, because some games blunt weapons are better against certain creatures. Sell this. Sell this. All that. Militia, militia, short sword, dagger. And we'll just sell these bows. We don't need them. We'll also sell the arrows. We don't need those either. And what else? Um, oops. We got a lot of healing plants. We got mushrooms. We got so much stuff here. Which is okay. Also, we got to go ahead and... When we get back to the dead harpy, I got to go ahead and just store these letters away. As well as the city map of Karinas. We don't need that anymore. We didn't need that at all. I just bought that to collect it. And our wanted poster. And we got... Uh, oh, we also have to give the uh, skins to Bosper. We got two Shadow Beast horns. Apple tobacco. He can have the skeleton's bone. There we go. And he buys it. That's so funny that he buys stuff like that. Here, you want this goblin's bone? Uh, sure. I'll give you three gold for each. Pitch. A lot of junk. We'll keep the saw because I want to show you something in a minute. But now we got a fair amount of gold now. We got 2,468 pieces of gold. We are rich. But with the saw, you can go ahead and do this. It doesn't do anything, it's just something for immersion. It's no secret that I really like immersive video games. Couple that with great gameplay, and, and well, you got yourself a, got yourself a great game. A good story would, go, would be great too. Not required. Hey, are again. I've got a few skins for you. A sheepskin? You didn't go slaughter some farmer sheep in the pasture, did you? I wouldn't dream of doing that. Wolf skin? That's good. A warg skin? Those beasts are tough. Ah, even a shadow beast skin. Those are worth a lot. Another huge troll hide. Are you hunting those things down? Whenever I stumble upon one, I seize the opportunity. Good work. Come see me again when you have more. Okay, that dialogue there about the troll, thats I think that's new to this mod. Because that wasn't in the original. I don't remember that being in the original. He always says... What the heck is this skin? And he says, that's that's worth a small fortune. He never says, he, I don't think he ever said that. Because I mentioned in part one, or even part two, that there's some differences in the classic mod versus the original. And I think that's one of the new changes. Because the mod did say they changed dialogue, animations, and models to NPCs and 
monsters. Now let's check out. Now we have, oh, 3,848 pieces of gold. Well, let's go talk to Wolfgar and learn one-handed. That way we can use our self-forged sword, a bit weaker than our axe, but we'll be faster, which is a godsend in the early parts of this game. So it won't be till later where we're ready to be we'll be ready to use two-handed with more effectiveness. I think it's better to wait till master, because fighter level in two-handed is just not cutting it. Let's go ahead and save, because I think I'm just gonna put 18 points in it. Let's begin with the training. Okay. Ten. Teen. There we go, see? Now it's back at plus five for two-handed. I think it's the same result like Onar, not Onar, Cord and Wolfgar said. So I think you can just keep going two-handed, but just to be safe. It says it's more exhausting than if you trade with if you just trade with one. But now we are a fighter in one-handed and two-handed. Next will be two next we'll put points to two-handed after we get our strength up a little bit. So we're going to put 25 points to strength. We'll get there by level 12, I believe. Let's go equip our... Can't equip our Orc Slayer. I wish we could. We have 25 points left. Equip our Self Forged Sword. And next we're going to go ahead and... Oh shoot, we can't learn... We have to go back to Onar's farm to learn strength from... Torloth. Well, we only have two points, so there's no reason to do that. I'm trying to think what else we can do in Karinas. We got... I don't think we have anything else to do in Karinas for now. We talked to every NPC here, I believe. We're basically just going to have to explore the... Envir uh, environment, the, uh, the woods. We've finished a lot of quests, though. So, okay, let's go ahead and save. I suppose we'll go to sleep. Let's go to bed. Everyone else is. Sarah is. And then we'll continue our journey back to that temple. I like this bed here. It's nice and cozy. Next to the fireplace. I sleep till morning. Alright, save. Right, let's go back to the temple. Alright, the temple can wait. Since we're a fighter in one hand. Let's see if we can take out that shadow beast while we're here. Before we do that, let's practice a little bit. So now we can swing a weapon much better, just like in the first game. Much faster to swing our weapon. Looks pretty cool too. Okay, let's go ahead and sneak up. Hopefully we can take it out. I don't want to do another round counter again. All right. At you. Well, well, well. Okay, so if you're playing this game, go for one handed first. There's also a leather satchel here, I completely forgot. That's one down. Take all this. Why not? Take all the mushrooms. Take everything. We did take a lot of damage, though. Well, not a lot. We took half damage. We're still good, though. If we're careful, we should be able to explore the rest of the wilderness area. That Shadow Beast is dead. So let's uh, move on. I'm really looking forward to putting points into strength for that Orc Slayer. So let's go back to the temple. And we are back. I don't think I ever mentioned it, but this self-forged sword is what is created when you craft weapons in this game, I believe. This is what you sell. It's actually not a bad weapon. It looks pretty cool too, I think. Um, as cool as it did back in 2002. So next, we're going to go ahead and fight that Shadow Beast over here. I'm going to try not to lose any health, so 
May have to reload, but it's much easier to fight these things now. Probably no reason to sneak up to it. I was a bit sloppy there. Alright, round two. Right. much much easier in the beginning stages of the game take all his stuff the skin the horn we'll take all these plants as well healing plant blue elder oh, got some black goblins over there be careful of them with the healing plant really should have done one-handed first I completely forgot how it works in this game not a big deal. Go. Okay, just one. Good. Ah. Ah, oh, crap. I may have to... I have to reload anyway, because he uh, did a lot of damage on me. That little black goblin. What the deuce. Okay, just one. I just want to fight one. Uh, okay, you're gonna fight too, I guess. Ah. Good. Lost a lot of health again. Jeez. Maybe I get lucky and die so I can reload. Yep. Still a bit challenging, because we're not well protected with this leather armor. We don't get better armor until we join a guild. No, just one. Just one. I just want to fight one. Yeah, come on. Oh boy, okay. All right. go. Alright, here comes another one. Got you. Perfect. Bit more finesse. Nothing there. He's got nothing. Nothing there. And he's got nothing. Too bad. Take this healing plant. Check out this corner of the temple area. Anything over here? There's another path leading out. There's scavengers over there. We'll fight them. I guess we just rush through. Well, that was probably not wasn't that probably wasn't a good idea. But whatever. If I have to, I'll go back to Sagita's. She's not too far. Closer than Karinas. We'll try to take out these enemies here first. Work our way to level 10. Really, really want to use that Orc Slayer weapon. I think I vaguely remember shooting for that weapon on, on a replay a long time ago. Before doing two-handed. Let's see if we can lure this fire drake to us. Here it comes. That was much easier. 210 experience points. Nothing to be had there. And he's got nothing. 
One save. Let's fight the other one. How about you? Took a little while. We weren't getting lucky with those hits. Those crits. But we did alright. We're 26,260 experience points in. We got about a thousand to go, 1,300. 12 to 1,300. Grab this healing plant. Grab this blue elder. Unsheathe our sword. Uh, unsheathe and sheathe our swords. Pick up that plant and unsheathe it again and fight this blood fly. At you. Boom. As Wolfgar says, speed is a considerable advantage in battle. And that's pretty much all the enemies in this main area. So let's try to see if we can fight those black goblins, which is going to end poorly because more than one keeps trying to attack us. Let's try again. I feel more confident with this one-handed weapon now. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Come on. Okay. Uh oh. Yep. Let's see if we can learn one at a time. They really... Holy crap. Just one? Ah. Ah. Oh, boy. I'm going back to Sagita real quick. Heal me. Hmm. My ointment will take care of the worst of your wounds. All right, let's see how we do with a full tank. So see if we can lure one. Did you see us? They always seem on guard all the time, even in their own home. There we go. Maybe if I'm... Oh. Get a lucky crit. Down. Ah. Oh, they're fast. Okay. That's not bad. He's got digger meat. A branch. Five coins. Nice. Go ahead and save. Okay, that's two. Just gonna wait for him to come to me. Here he is. At you. There we go. Take that. Fire nettle. All right. I also haven't forgotten about that. Black Goblin Cave near Onar's farm. I'll have to go back there eventually. Anything in here? That's... Ooh. That's a Minecrawler. I don't know if we're... We'll try. They look much more deadly than... Okay, they're not bad. They're just Minecrawlers, not Minecrawler Warriors. Nothing to be had there. We'll grab this uh, meat, these big mushrooms here. Um, because they're worth like 30 each, and I think we can get a fair bit of money if we sell them. 
Well, 30 in general, like, full value, but we get maybe 15, I guess. I don't know. We got potion. We'll grab that. Rough hatchet. There's also another self-forged sword here. We got a little adventure who uh, died. Also has some potions as well for extracts of healing and... I think it's just a mana potion. We also have... He also has 50 coins in the bag. We'll grab that. We almost have 4,000 right now. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. And I guess... Bosper doesn't take lurker skins because we have... Seven lurker skins with us. Also hear a whole bunch of goblins having a little party... Nearby. I just want to fight one of these. Okay. There we go. How about you? Perfect. I don't know why I put my weapon away. These mine crawlers aren't too bad. They're just, uh... Also, these are golems on the ground, aren't they? I feel like they're gonna reform if we do something in this cave. Not bad. Nothing there. Nothing there, he says. My mind was playing tricks on me. My eyes... I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye in, in the screen. Oh, that's a Minecrawler warrior. I don't know if we're strong enough to fight it. We'll try. Oh! That was a golem. So, however they get summoned... We're gonna have a heck of a time trying to defeat them, I think. So let's go back to where that... Be careful here. I can do this. That was easy. Nothing there. Remember in Gothic 1 where we had to fight mine crawler mine crawlers and get their plates with the crawler armor? I don't know if that's in this game anymore. Can't remember. It's been such a long time since I played this. I keep saying I don't know if we're strong enough to face against these creatures, but we are strong enough to face off against these creatures. We're not doing too bad. How about you? Kind of shimmers a little bit when he goes backwards. This is not too bad. save. There's a casket, jewel casket, silver dish, and a chest, which is probably going to bring out the golems. That didn't. I'll make a new save just in case. Let's see about this chest here. Alright, so... The right? My pick broke, so it's left. Gonna have to save over and over again. Wrong. Wrong save. In fact, it was probably a good idea to save before um, picking those up. So let's try that again. Casks are there. 
So we'll go to save here. Then we'll pick these up again. And now I have an in progress save. Something to revert back to if I uh, have issues. So left, left, right, right, left. Mason chain, 150 gold coins, and a leather satchel with coins. Grab those. Nice. We can't use the mason chain yet. We're short five points in strength. But we'll have actually a better weapon than our self-forged sword. Uh, kind of. I'll probably still use the sword because I like using swords. But have the mason chain for emergency sounds. Really helpful. So let's save. And you can see these golems here coming back. What if I can just... Doing too bad. Just keep doing this. Don't lose your combo. Hopefully he won't get like a lucky hit on us if we err in our concentration. Stein golem. So thankfully they're not as strong as that magic golem back there. I was a little nervous seeing all these golems in this cave. Anything. The they don't carry anything. Alright, we are level 10 finally. That's all gonna go into strength. All 12 points. And then level 12 will reach high enough to use the Orc Slayer. Let's see if we can just get one. Yep. Over here. Oh, he's gonna hit me for a second. Well, hit us then. It's okay, this is gonna be kind of slow going. What if we can... I don't think the spiked cudgel is better just because it's a blunt weapon, but we'll try to use this. Come on, there we go. See if we can learn back, because I don't want to summon the other one. Ah, shoot. I was too late. To swing. Try that again. I'm going to do a test real quick. Ah, hello. Okay, that's a bit too much for me. See if we can run away and just maybe only one will follow us. So the mace is a little bit better. I can keep doing this. Nope. I think the mace is a little bit better. Unless I'm getting lucky crits. Let's try this again. Closer. Alright, come back. They only dropped 180 experience points, I believe, so let's go ahead and... Oh, jeez. Darn it. I think I'm gonna bring him back all the way in that room, so let's do that. Over here. That way we have a nice little area to trap him in against the wall or something. Let 
guess I'm not seeing a difference between this and the sword. So maybe that was with my imagination. Oh no. I may have to go back to the sword. Good thing we don't have our two-handed weapon anymore. But we do, but we're not using it. I'm not doing any damage to it right now. Ooh, that was close. I thought it was going to hit me. Oh! Darn it! Okay, round... Uh, whatever. Let's try that again. Back here. All right, got you my trap. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Don't err. This would break your sword too in real life if this was a real life situation, golems actually existed. I'm just gonna keep swinging. I'm not gonna stop. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, I'm hearing. Sometimes the health doesn't go down. If had enough points to use that mason chain, this would be a lot easier. Well, not a lot easier. It'd be a little bit easier. Come on. Almost. Just be patient. It'll go down. close. Come on. Oh, that was close. Nothing to be had there. All right. One more in this room. Not going from the form, just going to keep attacking. I got him stuck in a loop a little bit. There we go. That's three down. We already went, we already went down there, I believe. So let's go this way. Check out this other golem here. Golem number four. He's always getting hit. There's no immunity like with the last, uh, the last couple. The last couple, the one before the last, I thought. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna check it's these uh, this bag. Excuse me. Okay, we got a silver dish. That's worth two fifty gold. The gold casket's worth seven fifty, and jewel casket is one thousand. Wow. I think we hit the jackpot. We are coming across some great treasure. In a fairly uh, kind of rough dungeon. Actually, I wonder if this area is used for a quest now that I, come, now, now that I think about it, so I'm going to have to double check online so I don't accidentally sell that stuff. So I think it's used for a quest. I think, but it might be used for a quest. Oh no. I hope not, because I want to sell it. 
Ah, too many goblins. We're not gonna do well, we're gonna die. I'm gonna bring out my bag of scrolls real quick. Right here. We're gonna use the fire arrow. See how fire arrow works. Okay. Not well. Not well at all. Let's try... Uh... So never use... Scrolls that much. Let's try Fireball. Okay. Come on, can't you die? There we go. Ooh. There's still more I hear. Are you serious? Well, shoot. That was something else. Goblin Black Black backstabbed us. Take this. Ah, the camera. Err. Might be a good idea to save after equipping that fireball. I tried turning around, the camera got stuck on the wall there. That. Let's move back here. We fight. Ah, uh, God. I don't have more mana, but we're not playing a mage, we're playing a fighter. I'm not getting lucky just killing him in one hit, even with a fireball. I would still have to hit him a few times. I'm having some difficulties with these, uh... Darn. Can I just lure one? Can I lure one? It's really hard to lure one because they fight in groups. Okay. Two? Nope, three. Let's move back here. Alright. I think some got stuck on the wall there. There we go. That helps out a little bit. More than a little bit, it helps out a lot. That's one down. Nothing to be had there. I'm actually going to go ahead and save. Can I hit you from here? Oh, we're getting hurt bad. He's got meat, D meat. He's got ten gold, gold coins there. 
nothing there. And nothing there. Hopefully we're done with this cave soon. This cave is actually giving me some issues. Grab this meat. There's a chest here. First we're gonna go ahead and fight this uh black goblin. Alright, hopefully just one. Nope, there's two. Ah. No, there's four. Holy crap. May have to go back to Sagita and heal up before we uh, face off against these dudes. Let's meet first. On right, second thought, let's go ahead and use one of our potions, I think. This extract here. Maybe that'll give us a little bit of an edge. Okay, just one. Please, just one. We get stuck on walls, so that maybe we can use that to our advantage. Two down. We got hit a little bit. That's okay. Oh, goblin berries. Okay, Nothing nice. We there. That does dexterity up. Ah, come on. Yeesh. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had there. Okay, goblin berries gives us plus one to dex. That's used in alchemy to make dexterity potions. Let's go ahead and save. I really want to eliminate this entire cave and exterminate the goblins. Because they are really irritating me. Okay. Got you. Darn it. back here. Fight on our terms, not theirs. Oh, come on, come on. Lucky hit. Give me a lucky hit. Er. Oh, let's try again. Are you stuck? Okay, that's one down. Nothing there. Let's save. When I press the um, weapon button, it brings out my fireball scroll. So I'm gonna go ahead and unequip that. That way, I press Z. It brings up my weapon only. Hopefully that's the last one, right? That's the last one. Another goblin berry, we'll take that, definitely. I don't know if that's random loot. Or if that's... Required. Okay, they got bread in this cart here. Maybe these are the guys that raided the caravan back there, the cart. With the hanging skeleton. It seems like their work. This cave is done, finally. What's in here? 11 arrows? We'll take that. Why not? Go ahead and unlock this chest. Or it's already unlocked. Never mind. 32 coins? Okay. Then we're done with this cave, I believe. So let's go ahead and save. And let's finally leave. Check our stats. Level 10, we're getting there. We are getting there. Oh, we're not done yet. We got some satchels here. 
We got another chest here we haven't unlocked, I don't think. That needs to be unlocked, so... Right. That's left. We will have one lockpick, so we have to... Um... Save scum a little bit. Right, left, left. Right. Right. Nope, oh, broke. We're gonna have to buy some more lockpicks from Thorbin when we get back to town. We have plenty of money. There we go. 100 coins, nice. We'll take that. Seven arrows. We got 4,295 gold coins. Doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and save again and leave this cave behind us. And I still have not forgotten about that goblin cave, black goblin cave in near Onar's farm. So next, we are going to see about going to where that troll is. I got about 18 minutes left, so I should be able to make it. Yeah, we pretty much scrounged this entire area. We found a lot of stuff, a lot of money, a lot of enemies, a lot of experience. So, yeah, let's just get out of here. We're a bit low on health, again, because I don't want to waste... My precious potions yet. Probably gonna have to learn Sagita's uh, recipe, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit because I want to use that Orc Slayer weapon. Just a little bit. Oh, what was that? That was a sound. There's a scavenger there. Let's go and take it out. Get some extra experience. Got you. I hear another one over here, don't I? I heard something. Nope. Nothing here except plants. Fire nettle, two healing plants. Another fire nettle. Don't really need these. I'll take them anyway. Are there some blood flies over there? Let's go take them out. Hello there. See if I can just get one, just to be safe. Oh, now it's hovering in the air, great. Well, it was. Got a cheap shot on us. Is there anything else over here? I don't think there is. I think it goes back to the bridge. Let's see. I don't want to miss any critters. Okay, I think... I think it does. This goes back to the bridge area. Yep, that's the bridge. Let's go back. Because Sagita needs that sun aloe for us to make potions, so I'm not sure if you can learn everything from her. If you want to learn it early, just go join Constantino the Alchemist, but it's definitely not becoming a mercenary, I think. Being a hunter fits a mercenary better. And then, ooh, it's a casket there. We're not going to take it, though. Leave it alone. We're going to... Oh, wow. Lost my train of thought almost. I think hunting fits a mercenary better than a blacksmith for being a paladin and a militia paladin. Militia to paladin. And alchemy for mages. But you can join whichever you want. That's just how I do it. Because you, you get a ridiculous amount of money. Not ridiculous, but you get a fair amount of money from Bosper. But this blacksmith gets you a lot of money as well. Almost infinite, I believe. Or not almost. It is infinite. I don't know if it's fixed with this mod. 
but uh, no need to worry about that now because there's a scavenger here. We're gonna fight it. How about you? One hit, one kill. We're finally getting there, honestly. We're getting stronger by the minute. Let's follow this path a little bit. I think I'm just going to go straight to that troll. Oh, I hear a scavenger. Got hit a little bit, that's okay. And again. I do believe these enemies respawn, not respawn, but new ones spawn in every chapter. So we may explore the land a little bit on each chapter and try to take out most enemies as possible. Just like Gothic 1, you reach level 30, I believe. The game's similar to Gothic 1, pretty much. Just differences, you can learn different skills. That was not smart of me. I should not have rushed in there. to go back to Sagita because I am really really hurt right now. It's currently 1740. Alright, I changed my mind since it's almost nighttime. It's six in the evening. We're gonna come back to the dead. When will I finally get my rent? I never knew that. Here's your fifty gold coins. Well, it's about time. Where do you hang around all day? You don't want to know. <laughs> well, it's none of my business anyway. No time for things like that. Yeah, we're gonna come back to the Dead Harpy Tavern, store some stuff, and go to sleep. And I may end it here. Nothing so I only have seven minutes left. That's not enough. That'll be barely enough time to get to that black troll to the north. So I'd rather save that for part eight. So we're going to go ahead and put, um, we've got two chests here to play with. So I guess this can be, you know, our weapons, armor that I want to keep. This can be for miscellaneous stuff like these, uh, this message, pass, we keep the pass. I don't know what that message says. Let's actually read what it says real quick. Okay, that's, uh... Dexter's note. We'll go ahead and put that here. Canthar's letter to the merchant Sh Sarah. Um, this is Inibus's uh, scroll. We're going to keep that for a little bit. We'll keep the pass, of course. We'll put our wanted notes in here. Sardas's key. A bandit key. Dead harpy key. We'll keep that, of course. And, uh... Anything else at all? I think that's it. All right. That's really not my problem. All right, let's go to sleep. Rather, let's go downstairs first. Never would have thought of that himself. Change mind. Let's go to sleep. I'm debating on what else to do next in this tavern. We will sleep until morning, because we are really beat up right now. And I'm gonna go cook some meat and probably end it right there. Really it's a nice little cozy home. Got a nice room, two chests place to relax in between adventures. It's currently day 14 in Gothic 2, Island of Carinus. So I'm going to go ahead and save here and here, of course. And when we come back for part set, uh, part 8, excuse me, we're going to go face off or find that black troll for Skeeta the next episode, as well as trying to hunt more creatures and get stronger so we can use that awesome Orc Slayer weapon we got from the temple. I'm staying out. So, until then, later.